quality of food in television food advertisements targeted at children. They found that the majority of the food advertisements analyzed were for foods that were high in fat, sugars, and sodium. This is a description only of the study conducted by Smith and Jones. You should be able to show the strengths and or weaknesses of this study in relation to your research and what gap or gaps in current knowledge such a study has not filled. So, you would follow the description with the following statements. The study provides a basis for comparing advertising patterns over time. However, it does not include any discussion of eating situations or eating behavior as shown in the advertisements. This critical analysis checklist may help with your evaluation. What is the main idea the writer is putting forward? Use abstracts and introductions to help you. What are the main points made to develop the idea? Pick out the main elements of the argument in the text. What kind of evidence is provided to support the point? What is the quality of this evidence? Do you agree with the writer's conclusion or conclusions? Was the text written in response to another text? What is the underlying theory? Does it develop a previous model further? Does it provide an entirely new model? What are the strengths and weaknesses of the model in relation to your research? What are the strengths and limitations of the study in relation to your research? Other factors to consider are sample size, research design, measures used, biases, extraneous or confounding variables. Designing a checklist will help you in evaluating written material and ensure consistency in your discussion. It also reduces your own biases. Another way to evaluate previous work is to do a methodological critique. Look at the methodology used and consider, for instance, sample size, randomized trials, reliability of the control group, and validity. For instance, you may ask if there is a lack of alternative methodologies used to understand the issue at hand.